Now let's join Marcia with Recipes from the Field, brought to you by Buck Knives. This week on Recipes from the Field, we're doing a slow cooker apple roast. A lot of times you get those venison roast and you just think, what can I do different? We've got a recipe for you this week. Got my roast from the butcher block. Venison roast that we took, I'm gonna put it in my crock pot. I love the crock pot liners. If you don't have a liner, you could use olive oil or a can of spray just around the edges. That'll help clean up better. So we go ahead and put the roast in. Use your favorite seasoning, something like a Montreal seasoning or whatever your favorite seasoning is that you use. And I spread it pretty um, heavily all on top of the roast. That way it can savor in some of that while it slow cooks. Also, I'm gonna take some garlic. You can use fresh garlic cloves. I love the garlic that's in a tube now and put that right on top. It's about three small um, bunches of squeezed out from the bottle. Then we're gonna take our apple and we're gonna put them right on top. Ooh, that's good. Gonna take an onion and just slice it just to lay it right over top. Got my onions cut and sliced. My sharp buck knife, gonna lay those all in here. Gonna take about two cups of water Pour it right in on the roast. I kind of go around the outside of it, so I leave that seasoning and that garlic right on top of the roast. I'm gonna turn this slow cooker on, put it on high, and let it cook for about four to six hours, and it's gonna be ready. So this is a great recipe for when you know you have hunters coming in late night in the field. I'm actually gonna take some of the juice, not getting any of the onions or the apples, but just the liquid, and go ahead and pour it into my pan. Because I'm going to go ahead and use the same juices that I cooked the venison in to actually make a little bit of a thicker gravy. So I took about two tablespoons of cornstarch to about a fourth a cup of cold water. Mix that really good. You're going to get the broth. It's already warm from the cooker. Just go ahead and turn your burner on about a medium heat and slowly pour in your cornstarch and water mixture. And that's going to come up to a boil and thicken and that's going to be some good gravy. With the broth and the cornstarch water mixture, this gravy is thickened up perfect. I'm going to just remove the roast out of the cooker. Oh, that looks delicious. Some onions there. Pour the gravy right on top of it. You can cook any side with it that you like. My family loves mashed potatoes with the venison roast. And that's your recipe for this week. Log on to ShootStraightTV.com. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. We'll see you next week.